Oh, there you go. Look at that one, the man. Right, comparison time. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we've got a bit of a different video for you. When we uh, were on jerk chicken at Surrey Hills, we took some pictures with a GoPro and I was absolutely amazed with the shots we can get. So I've done a few research on the settings, had a little play around. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can get really good pictures using your GoPro. Let's go ride some trails and take some pictures. So firstly, we wanna talk about what mode you wanna be in. So first of all, press the mode button and get it to the photo mode. Then what we wanna look for in the settings is the burst setting. So what that's gonna do is as you press that camera, it's gonna take loads of pictures over a various amount of time so that as you're riding really fast past, it's gonna get lots of different shots so you can capture the exact one you want. Now what I do is I put in the maximum 30 pictures over 10 seconds as that gives you a really long amount of time to just capture loads of photos so they can delete the ones you don't want and make sure you get the perfect shot. So what we're gonna do for the first shot, so I'll show you how you do it. We've got this little feature over here Basically what we're going to do, I'm going to ride it. Dad's going to probably somewhere around here. And then as I'm coming in, press the record button and we should get a whole range of photos coming in here. And then we'll show you what they look like. There you go. Taking laser pictures. Oh, okay, no one's a call. This isn't got a bit of a, a bit of a manual coming into it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there you go. Look at that one, the manual. See it put a bit close, but yeah, look at that. Mm. The manual, carry on going. Oh, little manual as the exit. Some really good ones there. I like, I really like that one. That one's good. And then also this one. That one there, I think, once you get down a computer, never like that. I think that's the one. So I've shown you how to actually take the picture. Now I'm gonna show you how you can get the best possible photo. So first of all, if you go into settings and you wanna look for ProTune and then you can see ISO. So what you wanna do with the ISO, you wanna get as low as you possibly can, but bearing in mind that the lower the ISO, the darker the picture's gonna be. So just keep bringing it down, but just make sure it's not too dark so you can get the best shot. And we'll show you a bit of a comparison right now as to what the different ISO looks like. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, go. So, two pictures up on screen now. As you can see, this one, ISO, is way too high. It's very washed out, and you can see a lot of the white coming through. That's not really what we want. Now, as you can see from this picture, this is where the ISO is a lot lower. We've matched it to our location. Like I said, get it as low as you possibly can, and that gives you a nice crisp picture. Now, we move to a different trail, and I'll talk to you about white balance. <laughs> That's a bit difficult. <laughs> so, next set in we got white balance. Basically, it's all to do with the temperature. So, lower the white balance, you get a lot of blues, makes the picture quite cold. Or, if you bump it up, it's gonna be quite orangey, making more summer. So as like today, it's a hot day, so we're gonna put that up a little bit to bring out those oranges. As a base, if you stay around 5,000, that's like a middle point. So four and a half for more of the colder shots, or today, I'm going five and a half to show the summer. I'll get two pictures so you can clearly see what it does. Let's go.
feet. <laughs> so good that one. Such a fun trail. Here you go. Oh, that one's cool. Because you've got the kind of like skid yeah. run around the tree. That's really nice, that one. So we'll do it again. And I'll put the white balance up to what it should be. Five and a half. And you should get more orange. Stopping on that bit. It's gonna fly down the trail. Oh, crikey. Ooh, look at that. That's, that shows a lot of speed on that one. You've got like blur and like motion blur on that <laughs> one there. I really like that one because you've got the blur. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, love that. Okay. You going? Right, comparison time. So, in this photo here, you can see we had the white balance at like a standard sort of 5k. So there's more blues coming out, looking a little bit cooler. However, it's a warm day, so we want the sun to sort of show through. So you can see from this picture, we put the white balance to five and a half K, and you get a lot more oranges coming through. It looks warmer, looks more natural. It's a much better picture. Right, that's the end of today's video. So hopefully that will help you get better pictures with your GoPro. So just quick as like a wrap up, ISO, you want as low as possible, but obviously not too low that the picture's gonna be really dark. White balance, stick around, so 5K is the middle point. If it's a warm day, go five and a half to get the oranges. If it's a cold day, four and a half to get the blues for a cooler image. And then hopefully, you should get some really good pictures to put on your Instagram, like I do. And if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week for another ride.